Right, this is a video on auto color. Um, you'll need to download your SWS extensions. Um, and then I save them here. So I have my studio library, Reaper installs SWS extensions. I just, it's, it's important to have a kind of static folder where you can save your themes and your configurations and custom actions, anything to do with um, the kind of underlying functionality of Reaper, just have a folder. Um, in fact, this is an update, so I'm going to download it. Uh, and then carrying on with the video, if you go here, action, sorry, extensions, uh, this, these are these are some of the SWS extensions that you can use. I don't use all of them, um, but, but uh, especially custom actions, um, SW, SWS um, adds some really amazing custom actions uh, that that I find very useful. So from this menu, auto color, and I've just got a few a few options set up, and I'm sure. There are loads more, um, so I'm probably not, you know, uh, I haven't gone very deep into this, but it's still very useful to me. Um, <clears throat> so basically, if I create any track, this is the first thing that happens. It just becomes a random color. And I think I just type in random. Uh, so let's see that in action. Okay. Uh, every track is a random color. So if I now look here, if I create a folder, it becomes a random, another random color. But the children of that folder will reflect the color of the parent, i.e. the folder. So whatever track is inside the folder will be the same color as the parent. Okay, so this is then becomes very useful for kind of visually navigating your, your track layout. So if I select track two, three, four, five, and six, and make them into a folder, call it folder one. Okay. And they're, they're all the same color. Everything's the same color now because it it's kind of reading them all as the child. I'm not quite sure why that is. But I don't, it's not a problem. Uh, so create another folder from 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll call it folder 2. Now they're all murky green. And then 13 to 3, 3 to 16. Call that folder 3. They're all purple. Okay, so then if I minimize my folders down, folder 1, folder 2, folder 3, they're all, they have their own color. And then these are all the children of folder one. And then these are the children of folder two, all the same color. And these are the children of folder three. Okay, so you can see that here. And then if I want to change the color, I just click on the folder and I have a shortcut for random uh, color. And so I can go, right, that's what I, I like. That's green, blue, and pink. Brilliant. There's just the folders. There's all the tracks. So the only other thing I think I have in there is the master. I've just got it as gray. Um, so if I want to change the color of the master track here, click on this here, and then either way, however you want to do it, get all these color options so I can make the master orange if I want see there's the master is now orange let's go back to tungsten okay so um, the only other thing I have going on is a receive track is all, always this green color um, uh, it, it's not necessarily that useful to me, but a, if, for instance, I send uh, audio from here, uh, let's do, no, let's, no, 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 let's 
to do it here. So if I send audio from 9 to 10, 10 becomes a received track. And it doesn't change colour. Um, that's because they're within a folder. So if I change, if I send audio from 21 to 22, 22 changes colour. Um, I think I thought at some point this would be really useful, but um, I, I don't really find it that useful. So I would just ignore that. The really useful stuff is being able to have a random colour on every new track and uh, the folder and children functionality. Uh, quick thing about that shortcut. Set to one random colour is my shortcut that I used there. Yeah, set to one random colour. So that means that... Um, here... If I click on folder two and set to one random color, it changes all of the children tracks of folder two, changes their color as well. The other thing I think that might be a little different is appearance. Um, and Hint. Tint track panel backgrounds is seems to be unavailable. Uh, maybe that's because I'm in the wrong theme. Let's go to this theme. Yes, okay, so in certain themes, not the default theme, you get this option. Okay, tint track panel backgrounds. Uh, let me just change that color. So uh, if you look at the, you'll see what's happening when I apply it. Okay, it, it might be that that drives you insane having that much color. So you can turn that off. Uh, I find it's uh, useful to be able to see the color. So I have that on. Uh, I didn't realize that wasn't available in the default theme because I haven't used the default theme for uh, quite a long time. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I think that's that's possibly something that uh, different themes will, will open up different um, possibilities with, with some of these um, visual layouts. Um, The other one that I like, yep. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much.